fire! That's oh. sick. Yes, <laughs> fucking watch the health drop. The Bark is known to be a good support ship to heal your team of pirates, but a lot of people don't realise that it's a great ship if you play solo. It passively heals you over time, so you don't need to use your repair kits as often. And with the right build, you can restore way more health and deal big weak spot damage. I'm currently sailing around with 23 Plaguebringer Captain's Heads on board, and the Burke is easily destroying any Plague ship that comes for me. Plus, it's the only ship that has a built-in passive severe damage heal, so equipping the Ouroboros Hull Armor gives you a really fast severe damage repair. This is great for boss battles, because if you happen to die, you can spawn at sea to get back in the fight quicker, and you'll be at full health in no time. No need to repair at a dock, which also makes it great for takeover events. As you can see, I'm almost at full health by the time I collected my cargo to get back into the fight. Let's jump straight into the build so I can show you how it all works, and then I'll explain the best way to use it. Firstly, my whole armor is the Ouroboros. At the moment, this thing is a bit broken, as the Amalgamate perk doesn't seem to be working correctly, if at all. The perk should be restoring 15% hull health after bracing ends, but at best, it's currently giving us 1.5% instead of the 15%. I hope this gets fixed soon, as it will be an amazing armor piece when it's all working how it's meant to be. The restoration perk is working, and that helps us quickly restore our severe damage, like I said earlier. Now for the weapons. At the front, on the bow, you can choose between the Twin Winch Ballista or the Zemzama 3. Both are great, so that's personal preference. The Ballista has a 75% weak spot multiplier though, which can do some really high damage shots. When fighting La Peste, it can do over 100,000 damage when destroying one of his weak points. Here it shows with this build, the Ballista does 247 weak point damage, which is absolutely crazy. The Zamzana has a great base damage and burning effect, but its Raider perk works great here because it increases the charge rate of crew attacks by 50%, and these crew attacks give us 8,000 health back every time. On the port and starboard sides, I'm using the Carronades. These are great cannons with high damage. The Riptide perk is really useful as it puts severe damage on enemy ships when they are flooded. And the severe damage is non-repairable unless the enemy is built around defending from it, which is pretty rare. You could use Basculus 3s instead for the increased crew attack charge rate, but it would drop your ship level down, which is not worth it, as some of those high level ships will do extra damage to you if you're not level 12. On the stern, I'm using Dardanelles, and the auxiliary is the Leopold 3. I'm using the Leopold over the Le Fleur because it does extra flooding damage, which will help our carronades trigger their severe damage perk. Now the furniture pieces are really important. My first is the scrapper station, as those crew attacks will give us 8,000 health back, which is great to keep us topped up at all times, and that's why we want to trigger crew attacks as frequently as possible. Next is the La Potent Schematics, which is the only way to see weak points on the fleet of Pestilence, but it also gives us a 10% increase to all ship weak points. And that's why our Twin Winch Ballista has such crazy weak point damage. Third slot is Ballista Works for increased piercing damage. But if you're using your Zamzama 3s, swap it out to the Culverin Elemental Damage Boost instead. And it'll help with the burning and flooding damage. Fourth is the Front Powder Kegs to boost our Twin Winch or Zamzama 3s. And I prefer this over the Port or Starboard upgrade, but that's up to you. And lastly is the double planked hull to increase maximum health by 5%. This obviously gives us more health, but it also boosts the passive healing of the bark and the Ouroboros armor. As they heal a percentage of your ship's health, so increasing maximum health also increases your passive healing, so it's a win-win. Now with the build out of the way, I'll show you the quickest and easiest way to use the build. If you decide to go with the Twin Winch Ballista or the Zemzanas, the method is the same, it's just obviously the Twin Winch will be sniping from a longer distance. But you mainly just want to be aiming for the weak points first, to use your furniture pieces as the massive damage multiplier, and then after that you just want to continue broadsides until you get the crew charge ability, and then just rinse and repeat. The Burke is also very nimble as a ship, so you can catch most other ships easily, especially if you're along the river systems or the tight rocky areas around the cliffs. And this also makes it great for pieces of 8 runs, as you are fast, agile, and the headwinds don't seem to affect you as much as they do the Brigantine. Plus, your stamina doesn't seem to drain anywhere near as fast as a Brigantine, so you might be a couple of knots slower, but you can continue going for a lot longer without using up all your food.
If you want to use the Berg for more of a support role, I recommend keeping all your weapons the same, but just put the Repair 3 Mortar on, as this way you still got a lot of firepower, and your Repair Mortar when hit on target will do a lot of healing to friendly ships, so it's a win-win in all cases. That's all the information you need to know about the new Berk ship. Thank you for watching and I hope you got something out of it. If you want any more build videos, let me know in the comments below. I'll see you out in the Indian Ocean. Bye! Fucking... Cop that. I'm surprised he hasn't one hit someone. He was one hitting us before. I should watch this from the crew side. Ooh, yeah. Where's the big angry lizard? Holy oh, crap! Jesus Christ!